It's 2009, and it's a warm, sunny day in Arlington, Texas. I'm a young, broke college intern. And I just recently completed a big project in my internship. I helped my company build their first website. So I did what any young, naive college intern would do. And I went to my CEO with a plan for a bonus. <laughs> and I had it all worked out. You know, I had it on the sliding scale, knowing that if I ask strategically for this much or this much, they'll meet me somewhere in the middle. So I go into his office, present to him all the work that I had done. And he says, Caleb, you're right. You've done a great job. And I have something for you. Sit right there. He goes to the filing cabinet, he reaches in, he grabs something, and he s comes back and slides it across the desk, and I'm like, yes! I look down, and I see a $100 Outback Steakhouse gift card. Not quite what I was aiming for, uh, being that I was asking for a bonus in the range of thousands, but he tells me that's as, as good as he can get, and as any college intern would do, I take my loss, but I also take the gift card with me and thank him. And a few weeks later, I'm driving down the road listening to ESPN radio, and they're announcing that they have two box suite tickets to the Dallas Mavericks Los Angeles Lakers game that night. I'm a huge Mavs fan but I'm even more of a Kobe Bryant fan, and I am stoked and never try to enter these types of things, but I figure, let's call in, why not? Spin the wheel, see what happens. So I call, the lady puts me in a little holding queue when you call into those types of things, and about 10 minutes later, they come back on and they say, hello. And I say, yes. And they say, you have won the tickets to tonight's game. I thought, wow, luck is on my side. And I pull over, I give her all the information she needs to go pick up the tickets for the game that night, and I call my girlfriend, I say, babe, get dolled up. We are going to the Mavs game tonight in a suite to live large, and I will come pick you up after work, and we will hit that game, so get excited. I work the rest of the day, I'm telling coworkers how excited I am about this game, getting this opportunity to go see Kobe in a suite. And I go home, I grab my girlfriend and say, hey, look, there's a train. It runs all the way from Arlington, takes you right up to the Mavs Arena. I've got it all figured out. And we're going to go park and, and go to the game. Now, between that time, it started downpouring. As you know, being Texas residents, it comes down in sheets when it has huge thunderstorms here. And it is bumper to bumper traffic all the way to the train station. And I am so anxious. I'm like, we are not going to make it. I don't know what to do. Do we just go to the stadium? Do we go here? How do we do this? We commit. We are going to the train station. We get there with a minute to spare, and we are running in the torrential rain growing underneath where the ticket kiosk. And in that moment when you're running, you know, it hit me. I'm like, I've, I've never ridden this train before. I don't really know how the ticket situation works, but I'll, I'll figure it out. So we get underneath, I get my credit card out and I put it in those stupid kiosks that they have with nobody around and I try to get my ticket and it won't work and I hear the train in the distance coming. And in that moment, I tell myself, Caleb, you're a young, smart kid. You can figure out how to get this train ticket to come out in time. I'm not as smart as I look. I can't get it to come out. The train pulls up, and a lady steps off, and she says, if you want to go to the Dallas Mavericks game on time tonight, this is the last train. More panic sets in, and I look at my girlfriend, and I say, I heard they never check for tickets. Get on the train. 
And she looks at me and gave me that same reaction if I would have been smart enough in that moment to say, you are really stupid, but okay, well, let's get on. So we get on and, and everything is going right. We're riding right along. It's been about five minutes and I'm doing great. I'm excited. And the same lady that called out that that was the last train came walking through and it felt like she was coming just for me and she was looking for tickets. When she comes up to me, she says, hello, sir. Can I see your tickets? And I freeze. I'm like, I, I, I the, the kiosk wouldn't work. It was raining. W we're late. She looks around and she says, everybody else managed to get a ticket here. I need to see your identification. I'm like, okay. I give her my ID and, you know, I think, hey, she just wants to see, you know, I am who I say I am. We're going to the game. You know, buy a ticket when you get there. You're good. But she uses my identification and she hands me and my girlfriend two $75 fines each. And that look that I got when I told my girlfriend to get on the train is now the look I'm getting saying, I'm not paying for that fine, you are. I'm sad, but also we make it to the game. You know, I try to remain upbeat, try to have a positive attitude. I get to the game, sit down in the seat, grab a beer, and that's when it hits me. I'm so broke as a college intern that my Outback Steakhouse gift card won't even pay for this night. And I'm definitely eating there by myself. Thank you. 